Welcome to Ram Will's Money Matters. The biggest issue with starting a business is seed capital. The biggest issue. Look, let's just be real. Yeah, you can have all the business ideas that you want. You can have them all. And you can have a great idea. You can have like that brick and mortar business, uh, maybe selling something online. And actually, well, you know what? I'm gonna get into that online thing in a second because depending on where you're at, um, you might be able to get, that might be somewhat of an exception, somewhat. It depends on what you're doing. But in general, if you're talking about a business and the problem most people have is just the seed capital, just paying for the business, especially if it's a product business, you need money to get the products. And, but before I jump into it good, like I said, an exception can be certain online businesses and it depends on what you're offering because you have many websites that, you know, they might, they might let you get in there for free at first, depending, depending. Like if you offer maybe a service or something, like there are some free websites that allow you to teach classes and they take a cut and everything. And some, even some of the platforms I use, they don't charge anything right away or very little. Okay, those are some ex exceptions, but if you're talking about a business with products or even with services, you still need to uh, get it. Like say you still need to get money. Say if that you're using um, a plumbing business. Okay, you got, you got all these skills and everything. Um, you still need a vehicle. You still need equipment. So you need money to get those things. And that's the biggest thing. Or if you're selling, I don't know, cupcakes. If you're selling cupcakes or you want to set up a fruit stand, you still need money to get started. You still need that seed capital. And honestly, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest problem. That's why you get, um, you do get some um, government services that might provide you with some seed capital or maybe some foundations and everything. But, it's, and, but even then, it's only so much because... You need the money to get started in most cases. Like I said, there's some exceptions, maybe online, depending on the website and everything and depending on what you're providing. But let's just be real. That's only a small part of the population is even going to deal with businesses of that sort. Only a small part. But if you're talking about bread and butter businesses, where you're providing services, where you're providing uh, products, you need money. Now, this isn't to say where to get it so much, where to get it like a special place. You need to look that up on your own. Now, sometimes they might have a foundation or somebody might provide seed capital or something like that. And honestly, most people actually provide it for, from themselves. They provide it themselves because I know some people say, well, I'll just get that loan. Uh, first of all, banks, they generally, I'm gonna say general, there may be some exceptions here and there and for special reasons, but generally just don't casually give you some money. When usually you have to, you head to the bank, you usually need to be in business for a while and show that you've been successful and you just wanted to expand. Could, because for one simple reason, they wanna get their money back. But other than that, you have to go through a lot. You have to go through a lot. That's why I always emphasize savings. That's why I emphasize savings. Now, anyone who has heard me talk about savings, I'll talk about the emergency part, but if you don't wanna be in business, because savings itself really don't make you any money. It, it really does. It doesn't, it, it builds up just a little bit. It's not even worth it. But seriously, it really isn't for like trying to get rich on its own. But I've always said you can take that savings and invest it in a business. You can invest it in a business. And I would actually say that if you're gonna self-finance, self-finance, like you don't have anybody investing in your business or something, which is another way, of course, but that's actually best because you don't have to pay it back. Because that's a major issue too, because if you wanna have um, 
complete ownership of your business, complete ownership, you got to self-finance it. Now, savings is the best because you got the money right there. That's your seed capital. It may take a while to build up, but you don't have to pay it back because um, some people will say, well, I'll just use my credit cards. Okay, great. And even if you get a loan from a bank or some organization or some investors, um, you're giving up something a little bit. Like when you're dealing with investors, typically, like a nice investor might just let you pay the money back, but some investors, they want ownership of your company. Now, if you want total ownership, you might have to avoid the investors. Now, some people, they might deal with them something. It depends on what and how much control that you want to allow someone else to have. But even then, even with the investors, you got to give them some, you got to give them a cut. You got to give them a cut. And of course, some people will use credit cards, but you have to pay that back. And I know this from because like right now, I'm still in the publishing business. Now, if you set up with uh, something like Amazon, phew, yeah, shoot, you might just pay a, just a little bit of money. That's one of those online things. And then, you know, you might can get money back from them because uh, they do on demand printing. So they shoot, that's just money right there. Like I said, online slightly different, but a lot of people aren't publishers. A lot of people aren't writers like that. That's a small niche if you really want, no matter how many writers they are, how many books there are, that's a small niche. But everybody else, they have to like just build it up. Now, as I said, the best way, really the best way is just savings, build up the money. And as you're building it up, have a plan to really get the business going right away. And yes, you got some, in, yeah, sometimes you'll have that um, like bank or organization. And if you can actually find like some resources for a grant, oh, that'd be great. You got some people, depending on who you are, and like, let's just be real, they will give it you know, if you represent a certain racial group, ethnic group, religious group, depends. You have to really search for them. Now, I don't have expertise in that because I've never had to do that. Because my business, when I first uh, started my publishing business, um, they came from personal funds. They came from personal funds. So that was the key. That was the key right there. I was able to get stuff done. But everybody's not like that. So that's the biggest thing. But that's still the biggest single issue because I've seen, I've met people, they had some great ideas, but didn't have money to get started. So that's something you want to think about. If you think about a business, you have a business idea. While you're working on a business, you need to think about funding. Like I said, if you will follow my advice about your savings, if you are following my advice about your savings, that's a way to, that's a sure way to really get started. Because like I said, savings on its own don't really make you money. It, savings is emergency money and seed capital for other stuff. And then, you know, of course people do deal with credit cards and things of that nature, but you gotta pay them back. And that's the thing. And the only thing about if you're getting loans and stuff like that, or even find um, a friendly bank, you never know, or maybe a credit, you have to really look around. Even if you do, you gotta really, you gotta hit that business hard to pay them back. So, but that's still the single biggest issue, single biggest issue. And some other, like I said, I haven't had to really look for seed capital myself. I haven't had to really do it just through various businesses I got started. I was, I basically had it in my bank account already. But that was a specific thing. That was a specific thing. Like I said, you might want to just be, you might have plumbing skills, but you still have to buy equipment. You got to buy a vehicle and things of that nature. And like I said, there's always exceptions. You might can just jump into it, depending on something online. But the vast majority of people, you need that seed capital. So I want y'all to think about it. And that's an issue. That's an issue. And that's something I probably, I'll probably start doing some research to help people. Like I said, personally, yeah, I just started from the money in my pocket. So, you know, but um, I would have to really do some research. And I invite anyone who's actually 
secure like grants or things of that nature. Uh, shout out K Business Podcast. He could probably help you with some stuff. I'm going to put his link in the description box. He's someone who has some expertise on business financing and um, things that you can do to help your business. I've actually sat in uh, a seminars with him. So anyway, y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. <laughs>